welcome back to Chugging with Velox 18. I think it's time, guys. I do. I think it's time. I think it's time. A sad day in the history of Chugging with Velox 18. So sad that I can't stop smiling. All right. Uh, well, we'll talk about it after we roll the music. Roll the music! Yep, so if you want to own a piece of YouTube history, no, I'm joking. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell this truck, guys. I think I'm gonna sell this truck. And we'll uh, we'll talk about it. I'll tell you guys why. And uh, yeah, man, then we'll, we're actually, you know, we gotta finish this load going up to Chicago. But uh, we'll talk about that later because the business at hand is, what the heck's going on? Okay, so what the heck is going on? I know some of you are gonna have some some strong feelings about this. Maybe stronger than you should, to be honest. But uh, I'll try to explain myself here a little bit, all right? I spec this truck to look cool. That was the point of it. That was the entire purpose of my building it the way I built it. I wanted it to look cool. I knew that if I, if I had a cool truck, um, I could build a YouTube channel. And the idea of the YouTube channel would be to supplement my income and offset the additional costs of running a cool truck, right? A hood truck, low fuel mileage, uh, a high payment. So um, I started um, my own authority and um, when times were good, you know, I started my own authority. So the rates were high, fuel was low, and um, I kind of knew like, okay, this is gonna stop at some point. And I was hoping that by the time that fuel went up and rates came down, that maybe, possibly, hopefully, I could have a big enough YouTube channel that it would um, not only just like offset the costs of running the truck, but like it would become a kind of like a larger part of my business. And, um, you know, like, like a major part of my business, like my main business. I don't know, it was just an idea. It was a thought, and I knew that, you know, uh, a hood truck, a cool looking truck, just catches people's eyes. It would get me clicks on YouTube, and I could try to build a YouTube channel. I, I just thought, now's, you know, now's the time. Now's the time, and uh, I did get, you know, I, I, had to, I had to buy a truck of some sort, so I got a cool one, exactly how I wanted it. So, um, with that being said, like, that hasn't happened. Like YouTube is a good a good thing for me. Don't get me wrong. Like I definitely get to like I, I do have I, I offset my costs every month with a, a little bit of money from YouTube. I'm not trying to deny that uh, it doesn't help. It does, but YouTube doesn't pay me enough to continue to like um, hemorrhage money and not just hemorrhage money, but like really it's about being competitive, right? Like trucking is still my main business. So in order for me to compete against everyone else who are running trucks that they can run down the road for like 70 cents a mile and I'm over here running it down the road for $1.20 a mile, it's like they can take freight and be profitable at a much lower rate per mile. And now that the rates, the freight rates are coming down, a lot more people can, they can take 250 a mile and be profitable and be fine and be happy. They can even pay a driver at 250 a mile and still the owner can take home money. I can't, right? I have a large monthly note as well as, you know, high fuel costs. I got I got the, I got the Cummins X15 Performance Series 565 horsepower, 2050 foot pounds of torque and it's thirsty. All right? This beast is thirsty. So, um, you know, the time has come and and I've been thinking about it for about a year, to be honest. Um, I need to pivot my business to keep my main business going. And so, um, you know, that's, that's, it's part of, uh, being a grown up, right? You make, you make business decisions. You make, uh, you make high level decisions. Now I felt like for there, there was a moment a few months back where I thought this, this channel might, might start like exponentially taking off and I may not have to do this. So I kind of held off. Cause I've been, like I said, I've been thinking about like, um, taking the equity out of the truck 
and and buying something else, uh, pivoting my business, I would say, because um, I don't want to give away too much on what my what my plans are because I don't actually have my plans nailed down. But I do know that um, really what what I need to do is and I need to pivot and now's now's the time. Now's the time, um, and I'm not really that sad about it. Um, I remember I remember when I was specking out this truck when I was ordering it. And I was getting all, like, I was I was getting all into the details, right? Well, I want you know this, and I, I really want this. And um, my father-in-law, who's ordered uh, multiple trucks, who um, has you know he's owned a few really cool trucks. In fact, this truck uh, it was specced kind of um, with with his like kind of basic uh, spec of truck that he had uh, a few a few years back. So. I kind of specced this truck to look kind of similar to one of his. But anyway, he told me something that I, it, it stuck with me this whole time because I wanted everything to be perfect and stuff. And he just told me, he said, Nick, the, you realize this won't be the last truck you buy, right? And it was like, no, I know, I think, but like, this is my, but the, this is my baby. And then he's just like, yeah, but you're probably going to get rid of it after it gets 500, 600,000 miles on it. Or, you know, like it just most likely that would be the case. And I'd buy another truck and I'd order another truck or I'd, you know, there, it wouldn't be, um, this isn't it. And so that's kind of stuck with me. Like, you know, I, I kind of had this as like, oh, this is my dream truck. And in reality, dreams change. <laughs> um, my, my, like my dream truck now is a little different than this. Um, I'm doing a lot more different stuff than I originally thought I would. I'm doing longer runs and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, those words kind of like, uh, ring true. Like this isn't going to be my last truck. Um, so whether I, <clears throat> you know, kind of try to grind it out for the next three years, three and a half years and pay it off and, and then cash out the equity then or if I cash out the equity now and try and get something that fits a little better with what I'm doing um, you know I'm, I'm pulling a reefer uh, with a flat top that's that's hurting the fuel mileage um, I'm <clears throat> I'm running a little longer distances than I and staying in the truck longer uh, so flat top not ideal um, you know x15 performance series awesome climbing hills I'm running the Midwest a lot. Like I'm not climbing that many hills. <laughs> so, you know, all in all, um, this truck is bad. I love it. Uh, and if I, if, if, if I could just like, if YouTube was making me like 10 grand a month, um, even half that, I probably, I probably would just keep the truck and just be like, Hey, it's a, you know, it's a, it's an investment into my YouTube channel. Um, because that's kind of how I've thought about it for the last year and a half is like, Hey, this is an investment into my YouTube channel. And if YouTube can become my main thing, then it'll all be worth it. But YouTube is not my main thing. Trucking is my main thing. I need to start making decisions based on running my trucking business and not hoping that I can grow my YouTube channel faster than what it's growing. Um, you know, you guys are awesome. Love you guys. Uh, but you guys haven't helped me grow this thing. I don't know. You guys, something, you guys are doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all me. Uh, I, I talk too much. I drag things on too much. If I made videos that were quick hitting and, and faster paced and maybe a little better information and not just, a, not as much, just me, uh, you know, jaw jacking, then maybe, uh, yeah, maybe it would grow faster, but that ain't me, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I am who I am. And that, that's, a, I'm, I'm really okay with that. So, um, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's my explanation. So that being said, I know some of you guys are going to be like, man, uh, how much maybe, uh, maybe I might, um, you know, maybe I might, uh, pull the trigger. It's a lot, man. Like just look at, look at truck paper and look at the most expensive 389s, uh, that are kind of spec similar to mine and just think that that's where I'm going to be at. Like I, I'm going to, I'm going to ask for like, like there's not going to be like a, Oh, you're a subscriber. I'm going to give you a discount. Cause like the only way that this really makes it worth it for me is if I get top dollar. Um, Otherwise, there's no point in me even getting rid of it. You know, like, like the, the, uh, the fact that the the used trucks are so expensive is part of the equation on this whole decision. Um, so, uh, with that being said, uh, you know, hit me up. <laughs>
now that I've thoroughly talked you out of buying the truck because of X, Y, and Z, all the all the reasons why I'm selling it, um, if you still want it, you know, hit me up. Hit me up. Um, <clears throat> all right, we are here in Haiti, um, Missouri, um, kind of southern Missouri down here. And uh, we've got like 400 and something miles, like 410 miles to go to get up to um, University Park, Illinois. We have an 11.30 p.m. delivery tonight. Um, it's not even noon yet, so I'm really just kind of like chilling out because I got like a seven hour drive tops. And that's if like, you know, we run into some traffic and I slow roll and all that. So um, I don't want to get there too early. I'd like to come just strolling in there about like, I don't know, nine o'clock, two and a half hours early. I think they might take me two and a half hours early. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so I'll catch up with you guys once we get on the road and stuff. And uh, shoot, I'll try not to talk talk so much uh, the rest of the video so we can not have too long of a video. But uh, yeah, catch up with you guys later. All right. We, uh, shoot, we've been hanging out here for a long time. It's 2.30 now. 2.30. I stayed here longer than I expected to, but um, yeah, I've just been uh, just been trying to, you know, move and shake, shake and move, duck and dive, shuck and jive. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're just over here uh, hanging out in Missouri, man. Why not? Why not? We're gonna be if we're gonna sit somewhere, might as well sit somewhere where we got some amenities, uh, like restaurants, restrooms, showers, etc., etc. But uh, anyway, um, we're uh, yeah we're gonna head on down the road and uh, man, I don't even know. I, I probably gonna take like six and a half hours, so. Battle House there, what, at like 9? Nine? 9 o'clock uh, for our 11.30 appointment. So, just kind of, uh, I guess that's what time I was planning on leaving, huh? I don't know why I had noon in my head. But I just kept thinking, I don't want to leave yet. I don't want to get there this early. I don't want to get there this early. But definitely wanted to give myself a little bit of a buffer. So... Um, I love pulling out on the highways. It's just, it's just so uh, safe and not dangerous at all. And you never have to wait for long periods of time for traffic coming from both directions going 55, 60 miles an hour. It's just, it's just really safe. And I have a feeling that I think that down this way. Uh, I think that the speed limit changes because the people are hauling butt and then every time they get closer to me they're going a lot slower so I think that the, there's a speed limit sign right there because I always think okay I'll wait until these guys pass and then every single line of cars that I have waited for they're moving a lot slower as they were coming up to me so anyway alright we'll get down the road and uh Shoot, I don't know. I don't got anything else to say. We got, I, I, I already spilled the beans about, uh, you know, putting the truck up for sale. I haven't, I haven't listed it anywhere. I figured I'd, I really would give, uh, you know, my subscribers first shot and see if anyone really, really, really wants it. I almost don't want to sell it to a subscriber just because I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be asking for top dollar and I feel, I feel like you guys are some of my friends and you know, you want to give your friends a hookup whenever you're, um, you know, doing business with them. But, uh, but I can't do, I can't afford to give someone a hookup on this deal because I need the full, I need the full price. I need to get the full whopper. But, uh, but anyway, if you guys really, if you guys just got to, you know, bunch of cash laying around and you want to give it to me for this truck I wouldn't be opposed to it I'd let you uh, but that's not my first choice not my first choice I prefer to sell it to a perfect stranger and never see the truck ever again <laughs> uh, but anyway all right uh, we're uh, gonna get up the road 
like I said, we're we're still in southern Missouri, so close to the border that the Missouri Welcome Center is a half mile up ahead of us. So anyway, uh, all right, catch up with you guys down the road. Let's go. Stopped at this rest area, and uh, well, the bathrooms are closed. Big old signs out front. Bathrooms closed, so I guess I'll go back and use the uh, the bottle filtration system. It's, it's not a filtration system. You, you you just use the bottle. You pee in a bottle. You, you urinate into the anyway. All right. Um, I'm an overshare. You're welcome. Uh, okay, so um, I uh, yeah, we've been on the road for about two and a half hours, uh, not even two and a half, like a little over two, two hours and fifteen, something like that. And uh, we've only gone like 150 miles or something like that. So we still got like 250 miles left to go, 260 miles left to go. So um, yeah, this is uh, this is just pit stop number one. I'll probably have another pit stop along the way. Uh, and then we'll get there, uh, I don't know, 8.30, now probably 9 o'clock, something like that, 9 o'clock, maybe 9.15, depending on how many of these updates I do and yap, my little yapper. What do you guys want to talk about? You guys want to talk about something else? What do you guys want to, what do you, what do you guys want to, you guys want to hear my thoughts on Ole Miss football, hotty toddy? Huh? Um, no? <laughs> you guys want to hear about, um... Uh, the ship Endurance uh, with uh, the captain Shackelford went down to go uh, take an expedition. He wanted to journey across the entire um, uh, what is that called? Continent of Antarctica and uh, on their way there um, they got trapped in the ice they tried to, they, they wintered in the ship until springtime but then in the springtime uh, the ice started shifting and damaged the ship. So then uh, they started, they had to hike with the uh, the, the rowboats, uh, the life the lifeboats, and hike across the ice uh, to try and get in frigid, ice cold waters and row those boats uh, to the southern tip of Africa. So uh, that's a cool story. You guys should look that up sometime. It was the Endeavor. So, uh, yeah. Or no, I'm sorry, not Endeavor. Not that. Uh, endurance. The Endurance. Uh, but anyway, yeah. That's, uh, that's a fun story to talk about. What else you guys want to talk about? No, all right. Uh, we'll get back on the road, and uh, I'll just catch up with you guys when we get over there to, um, to uh, University Park, Illinois. All right, while well, I lied, I'll give you guys a little update right here. Uh, we are, it's, it's just about sunset. It's, uh, it's 6.30, man. The sun is going down so much earlier. The days are getting short. We know winter's coming. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is this is definitely the evidence of it. It's 6.30 at night, and the sun is 
below the horizon. We got just a little bit of light left in the sky. But uh, anyway, we got two and a half hours left, about 170 miles to go. So uh, yeah, making pretty good time. And we're gonna be really early when we get there, but that's okay. Uh, and it, it's a two-star rated place uh, on Google Maps. Pretty much everyone says it's a terrible place to deliver or pick up from. So, uh, you know, but as long as they get me done by sunup the next morning, I'll be good. In fact, if they make, the longer they make me wait, the more sleep I get. So part of me doesn't mind that at all. You can take as long as you'd like. Uh, there's a pilot right there, the, the same exit. So I'm gonna get off at the pilot and uh, we'll, we'll go in there and I'll grab some snacks and stuff just so that uh, you know I don't go hungry. If it is a really, really long, uh, really, really long adventure at Lineage Logistics. But yeah, this is, uh, this is we're getting to be winter time, guys. They're, they're harvesting all the all the brown corn. <laughs> it's uh, it's that time of year, man. It's that time of year. It's all going to be frozen and snowy and blustery for the, for the rest of the year. So, uh, yeah. All right. Catch up with you guys down the road. All right. We, uh, we are here. The receiving entrance, but that's not for lineage. What does that say? That's for mission. Let me see what's on this other side. I may have to flip around, but you know, sometimes you just gotta go with your gut because that side of the building was Arctic ice and mission. So I'm thinking that this side of the building is lineage, but it may just be blocked off. Yeah, use south entrance. All right. Well, kind of a bummer, but you know, I guess we got a couple hours to waste, so no biggie. <laughs> no biggie at all we'll just get flipped around and then we'll get over that direction get in the right driveway alright I even stopped right here and tried to see if this is where I was supposed to go but it didn't it wasn't obvious it wasn't super obvious and you guys have been watching the channel for any amount of time I kind of need obvious. <laughs> I kind of need obvious. Car entrance, truck entrance to the left. All right. We go to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. If I bought it, that's my stuff. Or in my closet, that's my stuff. If I bought it, please don't touch. Uh, you must not know about me. You must not know about me. <laughs> Alright, let me get checked in over here, suckers. Alright, well, they don't check you in there. You just press a button and they let you in. And then they say, uh, they got a sign up on the, on the door that says, please drive around to the southwest side of the building to get checked in. And I'm th sitting to myself thinking, southwest is right here, this corner. But I don't know if that's it or not. So I'm going to go over here to the northwest corner and see if maybe, I don't know, maybe I read it wrong because it was kind of hard to read. It had a, um, it had a sleeve over it, like a, like to, you know, like it, it wasn't laminated, but it had, it was in like one of those plastic sleeves. And then there was reflection from all the lights. So I was trying to move my head around so I could read it. So maybe I just read it wrong. Because to me, I saw all these trucks over here. That This made me think that this is where I should come over to check in. Right? I mean, that's, this is where all the trucks are. Chilling, parked, waiting for doors. 
So that's that's what I'm gonna go with. Hey, that was funny. All right, so we checked in. She said uh, I don't have a door yet because um, I'm two hours early, but she'll call me when uh, they have a door for me. And then uh, I was walking out behind one of the uh, one of the uh, you know one of the loaders or unloaders, whatever. And uh, he goes, "Hey, what time's your appointment?" I said, "11 30. He goes, "Man, she's lying. You got a door. You're probably in door 15." So I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'm gonna find out if uh, if they call me and say I got a door at door 15. I'm gonna be like, "Yep, he was right." Because he, he said, uh, I should have a door. I'm not that early. So, uh, I'm, I'm cool. I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just, uh, you know, hang out. And um, I'm going to wait till I get in the door. And then once I get in the door, I'm I'm knocking out. I'm going to go night-night. And uh, so once we get in the door, we'll wrap this video up. And, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. That's the plan, Stan. Peter Pan. And yeah, so I'll catch up with you guys when we get in the door and we'll close the thing out. All right, we got it in the door. I mean, I didn't even finish eating my snack I got. It's like 10.15, yeah, 10.15. So we're in a dock an hour and 15 minutes before our appointment time. The guy just came out um, like five minutes after I backed in and uh, opened up the doors. Uh, slid the tandems back into the dock. Uh, we're in dock 10 by the way, not 15 in dock 10, but uh, yeah, I already got a red light He uh, took my red airline off and he's he's unloading so uh, Always the nights that you want to you want to try to like get get some sleep are the nights that uh, <laughs> That they uh, they get you done quick in and out boom 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 um uh, that's not always true, but sometimes it's like, man, I wish they would take, wish this was one of those like seven hour long marathon unloads because I could get some good sleep if they did that. But anyway, we'll see how long this takes. Uh, maybe I'll just tell you guys next time. Um, oh, one last thing before we sign off the video. Before we sign off the video, uh, I just want to say, I know someone's going to ask, like, am I selling the trailer too? Um, I don't plan on it. I still need to, like, the idea right now is to pivot to a more fuel efficient truck um, and and uh, still haul the reefer trailer. But if someone really wanted to buy the reefer trailer off of me and just take this whole El Queso Hueso as a uh, El Hueso Queso, I'm mixing things up, I'm tired already. Uh, El Hueso Queso and you want it as a package deal, um, you know, we could talk about it. Um, I might just get myself a different trailer, maybe move over to a different type of freight. I know a lot of you guys have bugged me to start doing open deck or something like that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but my first inclination is um, not to sell my trailer. Trailers have been hard to come by. I think I think the prices are starting to come down on trailers, uh, but I haven't looked in a while either. So um, anyway, so that's, I'm sure that Someone was going to ask at some point that question. And I'm sure you guys got lots of other questions. I haven't been that good about answering uh, comments in a while. I tried to get get to some today um, while I was sitting. But, um, I'm yeah, I may not answer all the questions you guys have. So, that's just the way it is. Uh, this, this, this medium is a one-way medium unless I can get to all the comments. But at a certain point, I can't get to all your guys' comments. Uh, and all your guys' messages and emails and stuff, it, it, it gets a little overwhelming sometimes to try and run the, the business, record and edit video, and try to like connect with you guys. Um, I just, I, it's tough. So, uh, as well as maintain, you know, my, my own personal relationships with people with friends and family and uh, try not to lose touch with everybody in my life just because I'm out here on the road. So, um, Oh yeah, I was gonna say though, if you are interested in the truck, uh, hit me up on Instagram, uh, velox18 trucking, and um, you know, just shoot me a shoot me a DM, and uh, slide into the DMs and see uh, see what we got going on. Um, who knows? Like I said, I, I don't, I, I'm not particularly um, fond of selling it to you guys, but at the same time, you know, if someone really wants it, I'm not gonna say no and. Um, and I get it, like if you're buying a huge investment, 
You'd rather have one where you knew, you know, you saw this thing almost every day. <laughs> so you know it's never been in a bad accident or anything like that. Um, you know, you, you know it's not, it's not uh, been abused. I mean, except as much as I abuse the truck, which is not washing it as often as it should. Kirk, you should be happy about this because I bet whoever buys this truck is gonna wash this truck so much more often than I do. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys on the next load tomorrow morning, 22 miles away. See ya. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's 10.55. They got me unloaded and <laughs> paperwork. All I wanted to do was sleep. No, but actually they said I could park over here, so... Alright, this is the real end of the video. Love you guys. Peace out. I'm going to bed. Whoa!